Hey guys, Jason here from Man's Adventures, and in today's video, we're going to pick up where we left off in part one with the install of the flush mount LED pod lights on this OEM rear bumper of my 2018 Jeep JL. So let's pick up where we left off, guys. <music> Now to get started, I've already removed the license plate. Next step is I'm gonna take these lights back out. We've gotta remove some more plastic back in the bumper so I can get the right nuts and bolts in over here. I had to add temporary screws. So let's get that out and I'll show you what we're dealing with. All right, and the lights are removed. Let's look inside. Now, I don't know if you can really tell how deep that is, but it's about two to three inches on these lights. And if you can see in here, I've already cut some of that bracing out, but it's just all plastic back in there, but I gotta get more cut out because I can't get my hand up underneath to hold the bolt and the uh, washer on as I thread it through. So let's cut some of this section out and see if we can fit this up better. All right, as you can tell, I have cut it to where I can get back in here and uh, thread my bolts through and tighten it up with the nuts and get the light secured. So, let's test fit this one last time. Gonna get our holes uh, bored out just a little more where we can get those in there and that's gonna be a nice clean fit. And there it is guys, all four nuts and bolts through, flush mount, looks really, really good. It's, uh, I like it a lot, so. All right, and there they are. Flush mount installed, bolted up correctly. That's just one side of some of the braces that I had to remove. And oh my God, if you don't have the right tool, it's it's hard. I have big hands. I've scraped them up getting back in there. So uh, be cautious of that, but uh, it's doable. It is doable. So now let's wire this up and uh, kick them on and see what we got. Let's get to wiring. All right, these lights only have three wires, a power, a ground, and then a mode switch. Um, these have two different colors and they do some patterns, flash and solid and such. But what we're gonna do is run these three wires over to the driver's side light, going to splice them together. We'll probably run the ground up here on the frame and then run the uh, mode select and the power up to our switch that runs the eight pillar lights that I've already put on. And, uh, and we'll see how they look. Let's get to wiring. Now I've ran all my wiring up in the frame. I don't know if you can see some of this. And ran it all the way to the front of the Jeep. Then at the front of the Jeep, I came up and ran my ground to right here. I tied in the mod switch to the original and then I ran the power through my firewall. Once through my firewall, I brought it up under the dash and to my rocker panel switch box. And right there is my power. To switch modes, I have to hit this button up here, which is the original for the A-pillar lights. All right, guys, and there it is. Flush mount LED pod lights on an OEM bumper on a Jeep JL. I think it turned out pretty good. Let's turn them on and look at them. guys and there it is the install of the flush mount led pod lights to my jeep jl uh, a lot of work scraped my hands up pretty good but uh, i'm happy with the finished product if you enjoyed this video please give me a like down below be sure to subscribe comment let me know you watched and uh, let me know some of the mods you've done on your jeep guys it's been jason from man's adventures god bless All right, guys, I want to show you the difference in uh, standard reverse lights on a Jeep versus the uh, install that we've done today. So here we go. That's normal reverse. You can see behind. Now watch when I add the lights. 
big difference. And I know the GoPro doesn't show it well. All right, this is looking out my side mirror. There's standard reverse, and that's with my lights on. So, huge difference. It's like having headlights on the back.